Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about one sample z-test. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to Statistic, Lean Six Sigma and Operation Management. One sample z-test is hypothesis test of comparing population means against target mean. Use the test if population variance is known. For example, a factory manager is trying to determine if the population mean package weight is differ from 5000 grams. What if you do not know the standard deviation of the population? Used one sample t-test if the population standard deviation is unknown. Develop null and alternate hypothesis What is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis or H sub 0 is the statement that we are assuming to be true and we are trying to find evidence against it. What is alternate hypothesis? Alternate hypothesis is the statement that we would eventually like to support or prove. For a one sample Z test, the hypotheses are as follows. In null hypothesis, the population mean equals the hypothesized mean. In alternative hypothesis, there are three options, which are the population mean differs from the hypothesized mean, the population mean is greater than the hypothesized mean or the population mean is less than the hypothesized mean. The test statistic for one sample z is shown as below. x bar is sample mean, mu sub zero is hypothesized mean, sigma is known population standard deviation and n is sample size. The z-statistic follows the standard normal distribution because it is the standardized value of the sample mean. For example, a customer will like to determine whether the population mean of diameter of metal part is 5 at 0 0.10 significance level. You know that the distribution of measurements has historically been close to normal with population sigma equals 0.2. The sample mean is 4.899 based on sample size of 50. The null hypothesis is the population mean equal to 5, while alternative hypothesis is population mean is differ from 5. The level of significance, alpha is 0.10, population standard deviation is 0.2, sample mean is 4.899 and sample size is 50. Next. I am going to show you the steps of performs a one sample z test to determine whether the population mean differs from 5 using Minitab software. Choose stat, basic statistics, one sample z. From the drop down list, select summarize data. In sample size, enter 50, in sample mean, enter 4.899, in known standard deviation, enter 0.2. Select perform hypothesis test. In hypothesized mean, enter 5. Click options. Enter 90 under confidence level. Confidence level is 1 minus alpha and multiplier 100. Under alternative hypothesis, select mean not equal to hypothesized mean. The z value is minus 3.57. The calculation method is shown in right hand side. The p value is 0. 0.000. What is p value? The p-value is a probability that measures the evidence against the null hypothesis. The smaller the p-value, the stronger the evidence against the null hypothesis while a large p-value means little or no evidence against the null hypothesis. p-value is low, null must go. The decision to reject a null hypothesis or not depends on the level of significance, alpha. This level often arises between 0.01 and 0.20. If p-value less than alpha, reject null hypothesis. If p-value greater than alpha, fail to reject null hypothesis. The level of significance used is 0.10. The null hypothesis states that the mean is equals 5. The p-value is less than alpha, reject null hypothesis, ho. We are 90% confidence that the population mean is not equal to 5.0. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.